tax accounting for the fourth year, English section, credit award program, French department, at Faculty of Business, Ain Shams University, by Professor Muhammad Fattah. Lecture number one. Chapter six. Tax on revenue of commercial and industrial activities. Learning objective. After studying this chapter, you should be able to determine the nature of commercial and industrial activity that its profits are taxable. Deal with condition for leaving the tax. Deal with the one or single transaction that its profit is taxable. Determine the deductible costs and expenses from the tax base. Determine the depreciation base for purpose of determining the deductible depreciation expense. Deal with the exemption from tax. Conditions for leaving the tax. Number one, taxing the activities through physical entities. Noting that the tax can impose even if there is no physical entity, such as the profit that realized by brokers who have no physical firms. Number two, taxing the activity and the benefit. This means that the taxpayer performs the activity for his own account and under his own responsibility, or in other words, the taxpayer is not an employee works for others. Number three, taxing the activity in a professional manner. This means that the taxpayer shall tax the commercial and industrial activity in a usual manner, not accidentally. This condition has a certain exception in the case of imposing tax on net profits of a single transaction of any commercial and industrial activity. Number four, tracking the activity for realizing profit. This means that the community service-oriented activities are not subject to tax. In this context, we can say that the legislator does not distinguish between the profits resulted from legal activities or those resulted from illegal activities. Number five, practicing the activity in Egypt. This means that the profits that realized in Egypt are taxable regardless of nationality or domicile of the individual taxpayer. Taxable revenue. Number one, profits of commercial, industrial, mining, querying, and petroleum establishment. Number two, profits of artisan and small business. Three, profits realized from any commercial or industrial activity, even if limited to one transaction. Number four, profits from a transaction or transactions carried out by brokers and agents on commission. And in general, all profits realized by any person who is engaged in the brokerage business to purchase, sell, or lease real property or any kind of goods, service, or movable assets. Number five, profits from the leasing of commercial or industrial shops. Whether the lease includes all or part of its tangible or intangible elements, as well as profit from leasing mechanical and electrical machinery, digital equipment and others, excluding farm tractors, irrigation machines and their accessories, and machinery and equipment used in agriculture. Number six, profits from all kinds of transportation activities. Seven, profits by those engaged in the construction or purchase of real property with the intention of selling them professionally. Whether the profit results from selling the property as a whole or divided into apartments, rooms, administrative or commercial units or otherwise. Number eight, profits from land passing operations, whether for sale or construction. 
Number 9. Profit from land reclamation or cultivation establishment, poultry farms, or mechanical hatcheries project. Cattle and livestock farms of more than 20 heads. And fish farms and fisheries projects. The single or one transaction. The single transaction that is profit is subject to tax is Number 1. One transaction is considered to be any purchase made by a resident individual taxpayer for the purpose of selling movable assets and not purchased for personal use. Number 2. Provided that the transaction is for a commercial or an industrial purpose. 3. The sale is concluded within the period of 12 months from the date of purchase. Finally, the actual profit of the single transaction is subject to tax on revenue of commercial and industrial activity. Note, the living or imposing of tax on the profit of a single commercial or industrial transaction is a departure from the condition of taxing the activity in a usual or professional manner. Example on your text page 163. An individual taxpayer started a merchandising enterprise on January 1st, 2018 and their shared goods costed 50,000 livres Egyptian and he is finally succeeded to sell it in a single deal for 6,000 livres Egyptian cash on November 27, year 2018 and then seize the enterprise required give the tax treatment of the taxpayer for year 2018. Number 6. Profits from all kinds of transportation activities. 7. Profits by those engaged in the construction or purchase of real property with the intention of selling them professionally. Whether the profit results from selling the property as a whole or divided into apartments, rooms, administrative or commercial units or otherwise. Assuming that the taxpayer has no other income during 2018, then the tax due on revenue of commercial and industrial activity can be calculated as follows. Well. The first bracket of 8,000 livres Egyptian exempted. The next bracket or the remainder of 2,000 livres Egyptian subject at 10%. 200,000 livres Egyptian. The tax credit equals 200 livres Egyptian times 85%. Amounted to 170 livres Egyptian. Then the tax due equals 200 livres Egyptian minus 170. Netted 30 Libri Egyptian. 